What's up guys, Triple C here. Today the Smugglers Run DLC was released, so we got all the uh, hangers, and I'll show you how to set your hanger up, how to get the business up and running. So first of all, you go to your phone, you go to Maze Bank Foreclosures, and then you see five green dots popping up. Those are actually the hangers that you can buy. There's two at uh, Alice Airport down in the south of the map, and there's three in Fort Zancudo, which are all three more expensive. I would still strongly recommend get one in Fort Zancudo. This has several advantages. For one, you're more central on the map for all your supply runs and sell missions and everything. Uh, for second, you have basically unlimited, unrestricted access to laser jets because you're not getting an, a wanted level when you're in Fort Zancudo. You have some kind of a low-level clearance there. Um, it would also protect you for if people are hunting you, for example, and you land in the base, then they would get attacked by the military. So it basically only has advantages. I would go for one of those. That little, they, they cost extra. You'll make it up quickly if you if you grind this quite a bit um, but yeah anyways i went for all the top upgrades there it will get quite expensive if you go for all the top upgrades um, as you'll see here once i finished upgrading it and getting all the upgrades i paid 5.5 million in total i got the most expensive one in fort zancudo but i'm confident i'll, um, I'll break even pretty quick and from there on it's only all only profit so yeah, once you got that all complete, then you can head over to your bunker. I just took my Hydra here in this instance and went over there. And uh, you'll have a small blue circle in front of the hangar where you can enter it. One thing I immediately saw, and I'll get to that later in the video, it immediately gave me an option to go into the hangar with the Hydra. And this means you can customize your Hydra, you can make it a personal vehicle. We'll get into that later. But anyways, so once you reach your bunker, you'll get this super boring cutscene, which is minutes long so I don't know go take a shower or whatever it's like this nervous Ron guy uh, he's just talking really only irrelevant stuff uh, except for that he shows you this Charlie dude I think who can customize your planes so basically all your planes which you're going to be able to buy from Pegasus or Elitas Travel which are really expensive by the way um, you can all store them here in the hangar and um, there's two types of access types you, um, you have an immediate storage uh, you have a storage or you have the main floor basically anything that's on the main floor you can always request that very quickly so ba you basically also with your hydra if you're going to put it in your hangar you don't you're not confined to the few pegasus drop-offs anymore but you can basically always request it anywhere um, all the other planes basically which are available on Pegasus and Elitas Travel which are quite a lot uh, we'll have to really see what they all can do what's really worth buying and what not but all those you can get at a discounted price if you do the special vehicle missions just like with all the other updates we had with all the special vehicles um, in the beginning you will not have that option and that's because you didn't do any supply runs yet so after setting up your bunker you will have to make a couple of supply runs for those missions to unlock that's also what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna buy all the new planes immediately off the bat right away because you're spending millions and millions um, more than you have to if you buy them immediately so have some patience with it you know grind some supplies for one or two days it will make a huge difference also if there's a plane which you don't immediately need wait till there's a discount there's always a discount you know so if it's something like the oppressor which everybody wanted to have immediately I can understand that but like other vehicles uh, which you don't immediately need wait it out a bit there will be a discount eventually so yeah um let's get back to it um so we're done with this cutscene here and nervous ron has basically just left the hangar and now you're on your own and you can explore a bit and basically you can't really do anything yet i mean walk around in your bunk in your uh, in your hangar and check it all out but there's basically nothing really to do yet until you do your first setup mission so head up over to your office get on the computer you're gonna have to log in and once you did all that you will trigger the setup mission which you will have to do for any for being able to do anything else so in the setup mission i had to go get a plane which was called the mogul mogul i don't know how to pronounce it but anyways i just took my hydra again to be done with it quick and flew over there to get it and one thing i also got to say like what we, what we can definitely expect here uh, which we saw with gun running already they are definitely getting more creative with these missions because I, I mean all this stuff it's grinding for money in the end you know you're always doing the same stuff again no matter how they wrap it it's always go across the map get that go across the map deliver that so that got quite boring and repetitive with the crates for example or with the biker dlc but with the gun running 
Returning, they really stepped up their game and made missions more interesting and more versatile, basically, that you get different types of missions and everything. And the same as what we can basically expect from this DLC here, with all the different types of planes, you'll probably get some really fun missions, also multiplayer missions. This plane, for example, some kind of a World War One or Two plane, and it's got this gun turret on top, uh, which you can shoot. And I immediately got two enemies here, and it, it told me to hold right on the D-pad to switch between flight controls and gun control, which I did here. Then I quickly shot those guys, and that's what I said also, you know, those missions will be more fun, especially if you do it with two people. You might have, like, NPCs following you on the supply runs and everything, but on the other hand, this is not a plane that you're gonna rip everything apart in free mode with, you know, it's just not gonna happen. You're probably gonna get shot if you try to <laughs> fly around in free mode trying to shoot people with this plane. But yeah, anyways, um, so just head up back to the bunk, uh, to the uh, bunker, I want to say, to the hangar, uh, deliver your plane, and then you're done with the setup mission. Right, so from this point on, now you've basically really um, set it all up in a way that you can really start your day-to-day -day operations with it. So just head on over to the office, uh, get on the computer, and then you'll see like all the different options. Uh, this seems to be going a bit more in the direction of the crates also, only that there's something special with this. Like total stock, you see I have three of five by getting the main play the setup mission done there. But there's different types of categories of stuff that you can go for, and they also have different uh, different values so depending on what kind of product you basically collect here uh, you will get uh, it seems that's what the game told me I didn't do a supply run yet uh, I will grind those later on and I will also include it in videos but um, basically up there where you can click source where I just click now there you see all the different types of stuff Ron also explains it in game so basically depending on what kind of product you're going for what you're trying to steal there it will give you additional value or not not as much value and um, in the end when you got your warehouse or your um, your hangar full then you can do a sell mission and depending on the stuff that you got here um, that will also define the value of, of the total sale of your product which you're gonna see. Okay, now to vehicle management. You'll see a second icon in the bunker with this small blue circle, as you see right here. Um, if you go on that, you'll get to vehicle management. First, you got the floor, and then you got the storage. Basically, that's for if you own multiple planes, because I think it's five. Yeah, exactly. You can put five planes on the main floor, and you can also switch their positions, like, like in the garages, like you know it from the cars. And all the other ones would be in storage. And the ones which are on the floor, you can always immediately request in, in your interaction menu when you're on the map. So very handy feature there. Um, then if you get in the planes, you can actually customize them. Um, here for the Hydra, unfortunately, it's only the color. You can't get any additional upgrades, but pretty cool anyways. Something that people have asked for and requested such a long time that we can color our jets or get different color jets. There were some glitches in like capture and in, in custom captures and stuff to do it. But anyways, um, paint your Hydra whatever color you want it to be. Also the other plane that you see in there, that's the one, um, the Cuban, you can actually carpet bomb with that one. So you might be able to do some carnage in free mode with that one. But anyways, get, get some cool paint jobs on, on your planes with this. And um, yeah, tear it up in the lobbies with your pink jet attacking <laughs> attacking people. Um, well, I, I quickly want to show you guys um, the prices of all the new vehicles that we got. So very quickly before the other ones, we got the new supercar, it's the Grady Vizone. A lot of people are surprised that we are getting it on the first day and that they're not kind of building up a hype and just releasing it a couple of weeks later. So um, new supercar we got. I will be doing the stunt test with it later today to see if it's actually a good car for stunt racing or not. So stay tuned for that video to help you decide whether to buy it or not if you are a stunt racer. Uh, let's jump over to the planes. Then with the planes, there's two types of categories. There's the Pegasus vehicles, which I suspect those will include some heavy weaponry or weapons in general. There's four of those and they're extremely expensive as you can see. Um, like the top two, they range up to 5 million at the normal um, retail price. The other one, 3.6 million and one point something there. So as you see, there's also always a price range displayed here. And that's actually, if you do all the special vehicle missions, like I said earlier, 
you got to do some supply runs for those missions to unlock. Once you unlock those missions and completed them, you will get the discount prices. So definitely get on doing supply runs to get all the discounted prices for those planes before you buy them at a full price. And over here we got the uh, planes from Elitas Travel. Um, I'm guessing because it's Elitas and it's just like travel, those will not have any weaponry. We got like a, a super light, ultra light um, glider. We got a Havoc and this other plane. So yeah, that was basically how to set it all up, how to get it all up and running. Um, I will upload a second video today of the stunt test of the Grady Vizone. Like I just said, stay tuned for that to check out whether it's worth buying or not. Hope I could help you guys out and you enjoyed the video and I'll check you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.